never done an unboxing video before, but I'm kind of excited about getting this one in the post, so I thought I would for this. This is the controller for my CNC machine. And I bought it from CS Labs, it's actually come from Zap Automation. It's the CS MIO IPM, uh, it's a four access Ethernet uh, motion controller. And let's get her out. So in the box, get an Ethernet cable. This is one of the key benefits of this um, controller, as far as I can see, um, for an Ethernet cable rather than a USB or even a printer port. It's going to be far better at resisting any interference. Generally, much better. These little connectors will connect it up to a series of connector blocks, which I'll see in a sec. Um, the CD will have the driver drivers on it for um, the plug-in for the computer. So. Um, they do, as you can see on here, they do a whole range. This this one is the cheapest. Um, it's still, in my view, quite an expensive motion controller. Uh, it's the cheapest one there that CS Labs make. Um, and they, this one um, is kind of aimed really at the kind of high-end hobbyist. It's a plugin that integrates it really well with uh, Mac 3, which is what I'm going to be using. So the box itself. It's very neat. Comes in um, an aluminium case, um, and on the back it's DIN rail mountable. So, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos where I've been laying out the um, control cabinet, you'll see that I had a piece of wood representing this as I was laying it out because um, I hadn't got it at the time. But the um, so a piece of DIN rail like this, um, it'll actually um, mount onto the back, and then these other these connector blocks then um, are also DIN rail, DIN rail mountable so they mount then onto the DIN rail top above and below so that you can then take using those little um, those little connectors you can then spring out from from the box itself um, and then just screw into these little terminals um, which are, are all numbered to coordinate with the pins, which is, again is incredibly helpful. <clears throat> so one of the really good things about this is you can do away with um, do away with the breakout board. There's no need for a breakout board. 24 volt signal, as I say. And the other really nice thing about running one of these rather than just a breakout board um, is that you can run Mac 3 on a 64 bit computer. You can run Windows 7. You can even use a laptop. And this itself actually generates the, the step signals, so you get more precise homing, you get more smoother um, motion and a bit more accuracy. So all in all, I mean, I've, I've not used it yet, but in the future videos I'll be showing how, it's, uh, how it all gets connected up. Um, it's a bit of a warning there saying that please don't connect it up incorrectly. So as you can see from my circuit diagram here, well, one of my circuit diagrams, this has been hacked around many times. Uh, flashing this up in front of the camera, please don't just copy it verbatim. Um, I'm no expert. <laughs> I've pieced this together um, with lots of advice off forums and with lots of reading, um, but there, I know there are several errors on here and bits and pieces that I'm, I've kind of been chopping and changing. So what my recommendation would be if you're gonna do this, um, make sure you do your research and don't just copy somebody else's uh, circuit diagram. Apart from anything, generally everybody's system will be slightly different, so this is bespoke to mine. With that caveat aside, um, this rectangle here represents um, the IPM, and you can see there, sitting right at the, the heart of the, of the overall circuit diagram, um, this is, um, this is the, the, the heart of the system. So on the unit itself, there is um, 24 volt incoming power, the ethernet connection, which connects back to the computer and to, to Mac 3. Um, digital inputs, this is for homing signals, limit switches, um, fault signals and the like. Um, and then there's a series of LEDs then that give some indication of what it's doing inside and then step and direction signals so this is where it sends out the step and direction um, signals to the drivers and then onto the stepper motors to, to actually move the machine 
Um, the analog signals, this can go out to, to do all kinds of various bits and pieces. I, at the moment, I'm only using this to um, control the variable frequency drive, switching that on and off, but you, you can use it for other things. Um, and then the expansion model, module, I think, connects on to things like a, um, like a manual control. I think they call it a wand. Um, a magic man, um, manual control so you can uh, you can move the machine around without having to use um, Mac 3 um, to to control it but I'm not going to use that at this time I may may use it in the future so this this unit can do four axes of motion I've only got three axes on my machine but again it gives some expansion but more than anything it's been recommended to me on the basis that it's a, a good solid system that will give you precise motion um, and whilst it's the most expensive part of electronically. I figured it was worth it. I've spent that long making this machine that um, I'd like it to work well when I finally finish it. So here we go. In future videos, I shall be wiring it up and we'll see how it works. See you on the next video.